Like a glove. All right. I'm good. Thank you. Oh, you got metal seals. That's cool. I got some. Nice. You want that? It's yours if you want it. How's it running? Oh, yes. Could those bearings have come out and still rolled a good few miles before it started getting all wacky? Say again. If those bearings had blown maybe a couple days ago, would I have felt it right then and there? Or would it have been... No, you felt it pretty okay. quick. So it, it did happen as soon as I... Yeah, you felt it pretty quick. Okay. Because I was like, man, for that bolt end to come off made me think that it, I was riding it like that until the bearings blew out. Like I said, I think your bearings were set up too tight. And they went first and that's what caused yeah, that. And see, it's the drive side that went out. Yeah. That's where all your torque is on that bearing. You asked me something, Corey, and I said no, but I changed my mind. Where is that stool? Right here. You need it? No, no, I'm good. Yeah, he said try to straighten it up and then maybe drive it. Go back the other way again. Mm -hmm. So let me mark this so I know which way I'm going to start here. Maybe more like this. Yeah. I'll give it a 
good old chunk right there, buddy. Okay. Fish plus off and we'll get it all back together. There's nothing like your love to get me back. This little green chickpeas. It's slowly coming, huh? Or am I just talking to myself? Oh, yeah. No? Yeah, a little bit. Let's get some heat on there. Wow. Say <laughs> <laughs> what? Getting hot already? Getting hot already. <laughs> he just knows he's on camera. <laughs> Is that thing filming? <laughs> he's just trying to be, gonna be like, Welcome to the gun show. I'm too sexy for my Is shirt. That weak? He can't drive. <laughs> to just pat, tap it down and see what's up. We might need to clean some of that off there, you know? This wheel might be, this hub might have a problem. You know? I mean, a lot of times when the um, bearing blows up in there, it ruins the wheel, you know? But we're gonna give it the college try, I'll tell you that. And e even if we have to put a little Dremel in there and just try to Dremel out that, this stuff, maybe once you get the race in, you know, the, the, the bottom part of it is still good. Right. You know? I mean, it's worth a shot. Where the hell did that other half go? I put it. It's right. Oh. Man. Wow. I mean, this might... We did might. bring another wheel in case this Oh, you one did? Is. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're not worried about it, really? Yeah. Well, he's got. I got a wheel that I told him he could have if this was what he salvaged. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
in there. surface is good. I, have to, I might have to get a more abrasive number. Put a lower grit. Okay. Chew it up a little bit better. Just bring the whole kit over here. Wow. Um. Want me to go get that a little? No, this is going to be fine. Oh, yeah, because your race, where the race goes, is good. Mm -hmm. So this right here, this is That's where you seal it. Yeah. Sealing it in that space through there. Yeah, so all that's just kind of dead area. That just got beat up whenever the dang bearing mm -hmm. comes apart. Well that and then when we grabbed the when when I was banging on the race and the race got cocked, it it helped. It probably made it a little worse. It probably wasn't this bad. Uh, but trying to drive the race through it created a little bit more yeah. curdled, curdled it up. Well, I'll tell you what, this this year, well, I know we're in a new year, but we ain't got the spring. But it seemed like all through last summer to now, everybody, everybody I know has had a wheel bearing problem. Bailey. Bailey did, Stefano did, Ashley Gibson did, this hmm. one. Bailey had two sets go out on him. Tim Kinbearing? Well, no, that on that Yamaha one that y'all put those dirt bike tires on, they had those ball bearings on that front. And they wheel. went bad? 
So he put a 19 inch Sportster wheel in. Remember we brought that wheel back. We took that dirt bike tire off and put on a whole new wheel. Kind of knock it down, Jake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's 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 try that. And maybe hit the side. Yeah, hit the side. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What? 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 Like that's all right. I do anymore. <laughs> hey, put some more in there before you try to drive it. Yeah, let's uh, also wipe that off. Put the oil can back on right out of the bench. Oh, okay. Can I grab it right there? You got the bangers? Yes, sir. Okay. You got the driver. Get a better. Come on, Dad. Ba bow. There she goes. Thank you very much. Sure. Pop goes a weasel. Sure. You know how? Yes, sir. Well, if I get into a jam, I know who to call. <laughs> you know, <Mario? laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you have it. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, Act like somebody important and do nothing. Ain't that, that what I'm supposed to do? You're the yeah. boss, man. That's, hey. that's pretty much what we need to do. Ain't that what I'm hired on for? Yeah. yeah. Did we already got the race kits and shit out here? It's all on the bench. Oh, cool. Thank you. The, look here, Jay. Here's the bearings. Here's the center spacer. I'm going to take these seals back and bring back two metal seals. Also, we've got, you got the ticket? We've got, I've got the ticket up there. This is one side on the outside. This is the other side on the outside. So, I got to see something, man. Make sure those are the same height. Okay. If they're not, he's gonna have to buy the other. One. Okay. I'll bring you two seals. Yes, sir. I can feel it. Man. Well, I haven't been to be talking like that now. This year having fever. I haven't had fever or sick like that in about six or seven years. Six or seven years? Mm -hmm. Oh. I had uh, my fever was like a hundred point nine. That's where I was at. Hey, Liz. I told her I'd let her know when I, I need one. Thanks. It's nice having someone who can run over there. <laughs> These are my burns. Yes, sir. Yeah. Race. Okay. My banger. Your banger. My banger. Oh, 
Thank you for that. Yes. I should have heated it. Yeah, he gone. I don't want to put this in backwards. Then. In the trouble they're having, we would have had way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they got more tools for this shit than I do. I mean, we got it done, but we've probably been all day messing around with it. We had, Jake, we had to cut the axle out of the bike last night to get this wheel out. Because those, mm -hmm. those races were welded to that axle. Mm -hmm. I had to, we had to get a sawzall and cut it out of there. Just to be able to come up here this morning. I believe it. I've had to do that before. <clears throat> well, they wasn't moving.
two things. Mm -hmm. All right, try, let's try one thing first. Okay. The shortest thing to do. I don't have to see a lot of space, but before we try that, I'm going to see if we can't bury the races a little bit further. Okay. okay. That's our last bit before we go in. Okay. Hey now. Getting crazy. Okay, now, you know what I was doing? When I was doing Bring it up to us. Yes, sir. Hey, Mike. Come here. Let me show you what we did there. Well, I know you're going to open up a shop and put me out of business. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth, will you put this back in the spot it goes? That's a center spacer. Maybe put some tape around that. Okay, so here's what we did. You gonna take this for you too. Okay, this is your race, and this is your race. This is the wheel hub. Okay, you with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you got a bearing that goes in this race, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then you got that center spacer. Well, ideally, this center spacer sets up so that bearing does not touch this race. In other words, the race, this race is actually made to fit the bearing, okay? And then the bearing sets in it almost like it's floating in it you with me that's exactly what it's doing to set this up properly you want it to float mm. okay but you don't want it to float so much that the wheel will go clunk 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 you want it to float just enough like what we did where we just barely feel it. i mean you just barely feel it because then what happens when we pack it with grease the grease fills up this space mm. So the bearing's running in grease, not and it's not there. touching the race. That is a proper setup, okay? Now, uh, what you probably had was whoever set it up probably just put, a, put, the, put the races in, grabbed a spacer, put it in, put it together, and wasn't concerned. And it could have been close, but it wasn't close enough yeah. because, you, because of what happened. Wow. Okay? Now, did you notice, uh, well, this is irrelevant. From doing this so many years, I can take a wheel and then spin it, and I can watch that wheel. And just by watching it, I can tell, not because I can tell by the speed it's doing, but I can tell by the speed of it slowing down. Whether it's catching friction in too tight. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. If we got it set up right, that thing will just free wheel. And you'll hear the when we first did it you didn't hear nothing but mm -hmm. and as we spun it and it wasn't five seconds and that i could tell the wheel started slowing down right that's because it was too tight it was no, the, no. the inner spacer was too short see the inner spacer is made to push the bearings out so if it's too sh if there's no play you need a longer spacer if you get the wheel and it's like clonk, 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 then you need to shorten the spacer. Uh, it's got the bearing pushed too far away from the race. Cool. Okay? Wow. So now you're an expert. You could do it yourself. Cool. So you, know, you could also can learn from that too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't mind doing this for you guys. I really, that's what I'm here for. But just to give you an idea of yeah, what, man. what you're facing. Nice. Now. This only is for Timken bearings. Your ball bearings, uh, basically, on a ball bearing job, it's not as technical. It don't have to be set up. All you want with a ball bearing, you got your ball bearing here. It's bottomed out in the hub. You got your ball bearing here. Basically, all you want is your center race to support the inner race. You know, in your ball bearing, you got your outer, you got your seal, and then you got your inner race if the axle goes mm -hmm. through. Well, you want this spacer to basically support 
right there. Nice. And when everything, you notice we put it in an axle and we tighten the axle mm -hmm. to simulate it in the bike. Right. And that's the final. You can't test it just by sticking your finger. Oh, yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah. You've got to jam it. Everything's got to be jammed together. Simulated in the bike. Right. So. Sweet. New wrinkle in the brain. Don't go and smoke and drink a bunch of stuff and <laughs> eliminate that. <laughs> All right. So is there anything else you're going to get? That's it. So you got the axle, you got this spacer, you've got that one spacer that I'm selling you. He measured them both, so you're gonna keep your other spacer. Two wheel bearings, two seals, and the inner spacer, the axle. Cool. That's all you need? That's it. Cool, man. Well, there she is. She got some new shoes. We can get ready to go out and bump around for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 